Let's get to that press conference taking place in Nassau County right now. Maggie, we'll get back Deputy to you shortly. County Executive for, I'm sorry, I did, I did that one already. Commissioner of Public Works, Ken Arnold, Fire Marshal Scott Tusa, and OEM Acting Commissioner Joe Tremarkey. First of all, I want to thank the men and women who work for the county, for our Department of Public Works and our public safety departments for doing a fabulous job. They're true professionals. They've been preparing for this well before from when the storm, storm started at 5.30. Nassau County is in full storm response mode. We've got about 3.5 inches on the ground already with more coming. Winds will be gusting up to 55 miles per hour. So obviously this is a blizzard warning. If you can, to our residents, please stay off the roads so that our first responders and our plows can get where they need to go to keep our people safe and our roads clear. And I'm happy to say, driving around this morning, the roads were quite clear, so people are heeding the call. Schools, most schools are out, a lot of businesses are closed. Just to give you some details of what's going on in our response, our garages are fully out, so Hicksville, Bay Park, Cedar Creek, Hempstead, Glen Cove, and Manhasset. About 250 county employees are part of the snow response, including plows, sand, and salting. So we've got on hand road salt, 17,000 tons, road sand, 14,000 tons on hand. The Nassau County Police Department has reported no major incidents, and patrols, full patrols, are on the streets. The Nassau County Fire Marshal's Office also has reported no storm-related incidents either. PSE&G is not reporting any major outages. There is a minor one in Levittown. Uh, we're also tracking that as the storm progresses. And that, of course, is a, a concern with the wind of power outages. If you have elderly neighbors or someone that you know needs some extra help, please check on them. Make sure your neighbors are safe. Stay off the roads if possible. Take advantage of the snow day, and if you need our non-emergency hotline, please call 1-800-315-5135. Thank you very much, and I'm happy to take any questions. County Executive Current, uh, have we seen, can, is there, is, can you say Nassau residents have heard the warnings to stay off the road? Have they done so? And are, what, are, what are we seeing in terms of just general accidents on the road? So far, no major incidents, and we're tracking all of our major intersections, um, and everyone who's here, part of our emergency response, is reporting to me that there are no major incidents, no major accidents, and that the roads are very quiet. So people got the message, and they're staying home, which is good. And what do we see in terms of uh, projections for the rest of this afternoon and this evening? Uh, do we expect this to be continuing for the rest of the day? Do we expect this to be continuing into the early evening? It's expected to be tapering off by about 6 p.m. Currently forecast in Nassau County 5 to 8 inches. But the blizzard warning is the big concern, the wind. So as I said before, gusts of up to 55 miles per hour. And the railroad? Uh, we are monitoring that. So far, no major incidents, nothing to report at the moment. Good guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so you've been listening to the Nassau County Executive, uh, Laura Curran, who was just sworn in on Monday, dealing now with her very first snowstorm.